This video, we're going to cover Katana and Shopify's stock sync functionality in a little bit more detail. It's a bit comprehensive and complicated to understand how stock sync works, especially if you're new to it. Because when it comes to the subject area of inventory and inventory management, there are some terms that you need to be familiar with with respect to Shopify as well as Katana. So in Katana, we use terminology which is in stock, expected, and committed. Now, if you've already watched our videos about these functionalities and how they work from the inventory tutorial series, you'll know in general what they mean. But what does Shopify use? On the Shopify website, when you're looking at the stock levels of items, you're going to see something called available. So right now, I'm currently looking at the American blend of coffee in the 500 gram package. Now, this looks kind of silly because it says zero available, but on our inventory location, if we look at the 500 gram of uh, quantity, it says six pieces in stock. Now, what's the difference between in stock and available and why are they different? Well, the way you track inventory in Shopify is you take a sales order and anytime you have a sales order, it reduces the available stock. What that means in Katana is Katana has uh, something called in stock, which is the physical, actual physical quantity in stock minus the amount that are spoken for. So the reason why there is zero available on your Shopify store is because currently, even though there are six physically in stock in our Katana warehouse, there are six committed to be sold on sales orders, which means that you have zero available to be sent out. So it's basically what is the amount being passed to your Shopify store is equivalent to your in stock quantity minus your commitments to sales equal your available quantity. So that available quantity is what gets passed to your Shopify store with respect to the amount that's available. Now, how would it work if I were to change my stock level inside of Katana? Now, there are a lot of ways to add inventory. You can buy something, or you can make something, or you can just adjust the quantity using a stock adjustment. So anytime you're like manufacturing a product, like this coffee blend, or maybe you're buying it in and reselling it, so you'd have a purchase order or a manufacturing order, it will increase that in-stock quantity when it's becoming available. Now, if I do a stock adjustment, it also does the exact same. Now, the thing that's important with the Katana stock sync is it uses the variant SKU code. And way, the way it works is something called a trigger action mechanism. So it means anytime you have an SKU available on your Katana store, for example, it will immediately basically send a ping to your Shopify store and say, hey, we just had a stock movement for this SKU. Is there a matching SKU? If the answer is yes, then good, we found it. We changed the quantity, so we want to overwrite the existing quantity of what's available. And what is available is equivalent to your in stock minus your committed. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add, let's say, an additional four units of stock, which will give us a total of 10. And if we have a total of 10 minus six commitments, then we should have four available on our Katana store. So let's go ahead and give that a try using a stock adjustment on our main location, which is mapped directly to our Shopify Stopley location. This is actually the Katana web Katana address. So let's give it a try and let's see if we can get this from zero available to four available. So on our on our Katana website, we will do a stock adjustment. One second. And for the 500 gram American blend, we'll increase it by four units. And that gives us an in stock of 10 pieces. And that's it, already done. Now, when we look at the stock levels for that item, we'll see 10 pieces, six pieces still are committed, which means that we should have four available. 
go back to our coffee page here. I'm going to refresh it and then let's see if it updates. All right, I'll go to this location here. It should be four, four available. So that's it. Now, why is this important and how does the stock sync help you sell on your Shopify store? Well, if you're tracking stock for products that you have in stock, then what this is doing for you is it's making it possible to not oversell. So one of the things that stock sync enables you to do is let's say your customers go to your website. If you're out of stock of an item, it could unlist the uh, product for your customer to buy. That is very advantageous uh, because you don't want to sell something that you don't have available. So this is the important element of the stock sync. Sometimes if you've got multiple sales channels, meaning maybe you're selling you know, that product on Amazon or eBay and you're fulfilling it from the same stock then you would pull in those sales orders and it will reduce the available stock by creating new commitments in your Katana account. So that's exactly how it's intended to work. So let's say, for example, I'm not even working inside of my uh, Shopify store, but for some reason, I don't know, somebody calls me on the phone and wants to place an order. Of course, I can place the order on my Shopify store if I desire, but Maybe for some reason, if I'm using Katana for whatever purpose, I might get a customer who calls me on the phone and wants some American blend coffee in the 500 gram packages and wants to order two units. So when I make the sales order, it creates the commitment. So my commitments, which were originally six, have now gone up to eight. So what you'll see on the stock screen is that American Blend Coffee shows now a commitment of eight pieces. 10 pieces minus eight pieces equals two pieces available. And so for example, on my Shopify store, when I refresh this page and look at the same location, it will have had updated this location to two available. So again, if you're running an e-commerce business and you've got multiple sales channels and you want to sync your stock from one location, no matter where that sales order gets generated, if you're using the stock sync, you can enter that order into Katana in some form or fashion, and it will make the available stock of that item on your Shopify store reduced in real time so you'll never risk the overselling element. Now, I also want to say that when it comes to uh, updating your stock levels. If you're, for example, um, you can either do it with a purchase order, outsource purchase order, uh, manufacturing order completion, or stock adjustment or stock transfer. Stock adjustment and stock transfers can be used to reduce and increase the amount of stock for any item. And then also those other three I mentioned, POs, outsource purchase orders, and manufacturing orders can be used to increase the amount of stock for any item. And w whenever a sales order is created, it generates a commitment for those items, which reduce availability. And also when you fulfill a sales order, then of course the physical stock will be depleted. So I still have 10 units in stock, but I only have two available. Now, what is the advantage of this as well is that one thing you can't do in Shopify that you can do in Katana is that as let's say orders are coming in, if your commitments are exceeding the amount of stock you have available, you get to choose who you fulfill the stock for. So like, for example, if I've got a variety of sales orders on this list here and one is increased above the other, then I can choose to provide the, the available stock to whoever has the highest priority within my sales order list. So that's one thing that you can do inside of Katana that you can't necessarily do or organize inside of Shopify. Be able to choose who gets what first, even though the total quantities are committed from every sales order generated. But in the direction or the prioritization in which you choose to fulfill those available items is strictly up to you 
And that's where the advantage of Katana comes in with respect to the stock sync and the sales orders. Last but not least, uh, with respect to stock sync, something that's also worth mentioning is that with the stock sync, the most important thing is that you have a matching variant or SKU that is case sensitive exact match on your Shopify store. Now there are some use cases where you will have multiple products on your Shopify store that have the same SKU. A great example is t-shirts. I love this example because let's say for example, um, you might be a t-shirt printing company and you sell black t-shirts. You have small, medium, and large, but you sell them by the graphic. So let's say you've got 20 graphics on your website, but you have a certain, they all are fulfilled from a large black t-shirt that has one SKU. So you can actually have 20 different products on your website and they all use the same SKU. Well, what happens is if you are generating a commitment and fulfilling from that one SKU, then Katana will update all 20 of those items with the correct available stock quantity for the black t-shirt SKU, for example. So it's sort of like if you go to a website, you pick the graphic and then you pick the size and color of the t-shirt, then you could have that one color and size t-shirt associated as one stock item for over 20 different product possibilities. So it gives kind of an example of how you can use it in different cases. Another thing worth noting is that if you have an SKU maps to multiple locations, so for example, let's say you have three point of sale terminals inside of a retail location, and you've mapped all of those three point of sale terminals to one Katana location, anytime the stock changes here with one SKU, it will update that location, that location, and that location all with the same quantity. So as a way of working with it, you can have this one-to-many association, whether it's one-to-many with locations or one-to-many with products. Um, as long as the SKUs are matching at each of those locations, when the quantity changes, you'll be able to reflect the stock sync using Katana as a source of truth. So lots of different ways to work with it, but those are just a few examples of how strong and effective it is. Last thing I wanna mention with respect to Katana is that when you first start using the stock sync, you and let's say you're a new customer, you or you might be an existing customer, not everything changes at one go. The stock sync uses something called a trigger action mechanism. This means that anytime a stock movement occurs in Katana, it updates at that moment in time with the new quantity. So if, for example, you bring over all of your products and you have a certain quantity in Katana that doesn't get pushed over to Shopify, what we recommend is doing a stock of movement or maybe a stock adjustment for all of your products through a bulk upload, for example, to push those new quantities out there properly all in one go. That's one way to kind of work with it if you don't get what you want immediately. But again, usually if your stock is already correct on your Shopify store prior to adopting the stock sync, then any new transactions taking place in Katana will reflect on your Shopify store. So that's kind of a nutshell how Shopify stock sync works with Katana.